Hello and welcome. Welcome to TMHBA Stadium. It's a pretty healthy turnout to this game. And joining me as always is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting some really special stuff here today. Today's match between Geelong and St Kilda. St Kilda running onto the field looking for a big performance today. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big day for St Kilda Cords. If they can get on top of the Geelong defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. I agree with you there, Hutto. Play the game as it should be played. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. Geelong winning the toss. Four rounds in and there's still question marks over a couple of sides in the competition. Let's see what these two teams can bring today. Already we've started to see the game evolve again this season. Some new tactics in play and teams coming out firing. It's been exciting stuff. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here we go. It's Geelong taking on St Kilda. With the ball is Duncan. Couldn't see off Stanley. Constant pressure and rewarded. Gathered by Selwood. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Stanley thumps it forward. Doing well was Brown. Ball up in the centre square. Stanley got the tap. Hits him hard, applying the physical pressure. Uses the bump, hit the man hard. Celebrating hard. Puts the first goal on the board. He did really well there and gets the reward. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. We're back in the middle to resume play. Tap came from Stanley. Decides to soccer it. Stewart gains some territory. Taylor just put it on the boot. Just gets a boot to it. Hill soccers it forward. Steven puts it into space. Menegola going for number one. Finds a target. Jenkins looks to convert this opportunity. 20 metres out. Going for goal number one. Geelong sent one home. Jenkins couldn't be happier with that goal. That's two in a row for Geelong. The lead is now 12. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. The 
The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Wins the race to the ball. Got the hands free. Handball finds Dangerfield. Good mark and looks to send it back. Elects to kick. Marks that ball uncontested. A chance to reload the attack now. Decides to keep going. Looks to move it by foot. Dangerfield shoots and that kick goes offline. Great start by Geelong. Geelong are creating plenty of chances from turnover. They just need to generate that into more scoring opportunities to be a big chance. It'll be a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Duncan doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Slams it on the boot. Marks in a bit of space. He drives it. Ablett leading the race to the loose ball. Ross slips high and gives away the free kick. Selwood drives the kick. Hawkins runs after the ball. Harford delivers with the goal. He puts through his first goal. This one gives them a bigger lead. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Back with another centre bounce. Blitzarves gets it down. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent and it's a free. Chips it towards half forward. Sees it out of play. No Thrown in now. Blitzarves made a meal of that one. Stephen going for number one. He kicks that goal with purpose. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He loved that one. That's four in a row for Geelong. 25 points the difference. Blitzarves won the duel. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Tips it towards half forward. Good body work to win the mark. Parsons will kick from beyond the 50. Move it on. Can he put it through? Unfortunately, lets them down there. Geelong doing well at the moment. Ready to bring it back into play. Marshall decides to go to himself. Marshall just took way too long. Didn't get away from the tackle. Big tackle. He goes for broke. Moves the ball by foot. Parfit got hands to it. Just put it on the boot. Goes off the ground. Brown, there to mop up. Marshall laying up the options now. Uses it by foot. He takes the mark. Loney sends one up towards the wing. Hawkins got him high there. Looks up with a kick. Stands tall and marks. Geelong just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Coughed up by Parfit. Hawkins looks for a target inside 50. A chance to put one through for his side. With a driving kick. Ablett wins the ball in the air. 45 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Always look like a behind. Geelong, Govitz and Kilda by 28. Marshall plays it to himself. Puts boot to ball. Hill coming off for a spell. The umpire calls for it. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Fails to fend off the tackler. Showing some really good pressure there. Open opportunity for Selwood. Moving on. He has to play on now. No issues with that drop punt. This kick puts them further into the lead. Couldn't take it. They get around him after that effort. Now they lead by 34. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now.
The game is back underway. Marshall slaps it away. Hurried kick. Gets the loose ball. Sinks the slipper into it. Gresham slick with the hands. Henry steals possession. Ball up call. Geelong are getting first use from their ruckman. Licks with hands. Phillips gets the ball. Thumping kick and just offline. Unable to capitalise on that opportunity. St Kilda behind by 33. Considering the options on the kick in. Kicks it out at the fence, and the mark will be paid. Got boot to ball. The mark has been taken. Guthrie has resources out wide. Moves it by foot. Clark picks up the loose ball. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores are Geelong, 34, to St Kilda, 1. Geelong could come out and started well and show them they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Time to take a look at the stats. It's been a clearance game, and right now, Geelong are on top in that area. Thanks. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Stanley hurls it away. Tackle locks the ball loose. Dangerfield has the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Ends up turning this ball over. Geelong is struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. An easy grab for Ross. Uses it across half back. Finds a bit of room to mark. Brown moves it now. Finds himself in space and marks. Carlo has resources out wide. Loney manufactures a handball. Gets a quick kick away. Hawkins takes the mark uncontested. Costly mistake with the handball. Handball finds Hill. Goes with the kick. Marks all alone. Gresham hurried kick. Stewart missed an opportunity to mark. Kicks in heavy traffic. Dangerfield gains possession. It's a behind. Geelong, 35. Leeds and Kilda, one. Decides to play on. He spears the ball. The loose ball picked up. Going for goal number one. Drop punt. Finds its way home from Rowan. And that puts them further in front. Gets some reward for his efforts. Umpire ready to resume play. One down. Found a way to keep balance. Chose to kick it. Henry controlled it well off the bounce. He wins possession. Takes the mark. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ken dug out the loose ball. Menegola collects it. Just gave it away. At full stride, receives the handball. Parfit brushes off the tackle. Phillips gets in the way. Receives the handball and takes off. Hawkins unable to lay the tackle. A drop punt through the goals. He puts through his first goal. Celebrating hard. The Cats lead is now 46. Back in the middle. Stanley palmed it down. Carlo gathers it now. Taylor cuts it off. He just can't get out of the action. Rowan wins the marking contest. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. We'll have another ball up. Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Stanley got in a better position. Stanley clears the contest. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Menegola hangs onto that one. 
40 metres from home. Bit of an angle for this kick. He gives it a ride. The drop part sails between the big sticks. This lead getting bigger now. He acknowledges the crowd. Geelong have kicked the last eight goals. 52 points the difference. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Missed the target. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Goes by foot. A race for the loose ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Collected the ball well. Loney decides to soccer it. Henry goes off the ground with a driving kick. He drives it. Just gets the kick away. Goes short by hand. Brings it out of the pack. Takes an uncontested mark. Moves it by foot. Marked by Hawkins. Elects to kick. Slips the handball to Clark. Phillips has a teammate on the move. Going for goal number two. Sends it home. Jenkins enjoying that goal. Geelong have kicked the last nine goals. The margin is 58. That's a really good team goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. We resume hostilities. Won the hit out. He has the ball. Duncan got the hands free. Play on. Collected by Hawkins. Just got the hands in the back there. Hawkins gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. An ideal position to be kicking from. Move it on. Dangerfield going for number one. And the chance at goal is taken by Geelong. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Geelong could have scored the last 10 goals. The lead is now 64. He gains possession. The umpire will ball it up. Another goal here, and this game could be well and truly over. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Won it down. Duncan comes away with the ball. Phillips throws the ball away. Uses it by foot. Brown having an impact again. He's everywhere at the moment. Can't take the mark. Soccer's are through for a goal. This kick has extended their lead. Dangerfield celebrating hard. Geelong lead is now 70. Geary won the hit out. Control well off the bounce. Ablett hurried kick. Dangerfield needs a chance to rest. A big tackle there. A great defensive effort. Does well to cut off the kick. Puts it on the boot. The mark is taken by Henry. Kicks it long. A great mark taken there. A spearing kick. Intercepts the ball well. Gets a hand. Difficult ball control. Half time and it's Geelong. 71 to St Kilda. One. A good first half from Geelong. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Geelong have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Much appreciated, Gaz. Plenty of action to come in the second half. We'll be ready to go again shortly. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Guides it down. Takes possession. Ball picked up. Charged down by Steele. Fantastic tackle. Great mark. Keeps the kick low. A solid mark from Duncan. Slams it on the boot. Can't take possession. Dangerfield leads all comers on the ground. He's doing everything right. Rowan delivers with a straight drop pass. Our second goal in the bag. He's enjoying that goal. 
Geelong, 77, plates and Kilda. One. The game is back underway. Stanley won the tap. He wins possession, receives the handball and takes off. Abbott just streaming past and gets the footy. Taking a nice grab. Uses it now. Butler found time to get it on the boot. That's a real let off there. Would have loved to nail that chance. St Kilda still hopeful of reducing this margin. Henderson plays on. Puts boot to ball. Phillips presents and takes the mark. Decides to go. Going for goal number one. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. Yes, Hutto. Howard loved kicking that one. St Kilda now only trailed by 69. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. St Kilda need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. Gresham now heading to the bench for a break. And now we'll have a ball up. It's just smashing out there at the moment, and it could get worse. Geelong are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Finding the loose ball was steel. Brown was taken high in the tackle. Geary can link up through hands. Ball hits the deck. Steele gets a quick kick away. Marshall unloads one towards goal. Knew what was coming. Fantastic pressure there. Hacks it forward. It's marked by Henderson. Henderson sends one up towards the wing. Applies a bump. Ablett charges with intent. Contests the hard ball. Ablett just threw it. Drives the kick hard. Loney missed an opportunity to mark. Ball up call. Won it down. Gets a hand of the ball. Duncan is blowing hard after that effort. Ross heading to the bench. We'll have another ball up. Guides it down. Is in his possession. He's getting a lot of the ball, gas. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Hanabry can't hold on to the tackle. Nice hands. Looks to move it by foot. Robert and Marks in a bit of space. Looks up with a kick. Dangerfield was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. It's cut off by Henry. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the board. They get around him after that effort. About to resume play. Taps it down. Ends up with handballs to no one in particular. He's got the footy in his Well collected. Getting pushed out of the way was Fogarty. McKenzie with quick hands. Hill gets on the end of that handball. Dug it out. Loses control of the ball. Kick by Blitzarves. Made the goal umpire move, and it's a behind. Geelong beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 84 to 8. Works the ball out of the 50. A race for the loose ball. The kick connects with the post. Geelong, but 77. Searching for a teammate. McKenzie runs after this one. Intercepted by Sinclair. He gets above the crowd. Loney has resources out wide. Winning the ball in the air was Hill. Sinks the slipper into it. Picks it up. Gresham heads onto the ground. The umpire calls for a stoppage. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. Of course, Hutto. Phillips enjoying that goal. St Kilda behind by 71. About to resume hostilities. 
Litsavs guides it down. Movement by hand. He gets his hands on the footy. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Litsavs does well. A clean pick up. Hill getting a chance for a break. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Guided down nicely by Glitzarves. Still struggling to run at the moment. He flicks it over. Two he on the ball. He just throws that ball. Got boot to ball. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. He intercepts the ball well. Butler doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The Saints close the gap to 65. Punched away. Hanabry kicks out of the congestion. They can create from this. McKenzie picks it up with the ball now. He puts it out of bounds on the full. Stewart elects to kick. Found space for an easy mark. A piercing kick from Henderson. Ross wins the foot race. Slick with the hands. One of only a few possessions for long. We're almost at the end of this quarter. Guthrie will be upset with that. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. St Kilda trying to work their way back on the scoreboard. Looking for options now. We head into the final term with Geelong, 85, playing St Kilda, 21. Geelong will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Anything to add, Gaz? Geelong are converting their opportunities in front of goal. They're taking their chances, and that's why they find themselves in front. Thanks for that. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Geelong are getting beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. He has the ball. Needs a bit of a rest. A chance for Stewart. Going for distance with the kick. Rowan, the better man there. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. He takes the shot. Selwood puts another one through. Pretty happy with that one. This margin is becoming a bit of a task to peg back now. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. St Kilda have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Hill running off for a break. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. It's just a bit lacklustre out there for my liking. Geelong are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. The Cats just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Fogarty earns a free kick. 
A chance to put one through here for Geelong. 30 metres out. Go. Selwood heads for home and pumps it through the big sticks. Of course, Hunter. That's his third. He's doing his job out there. Look at them celebrate that effort. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Geelong need to think more about the kick going forward. They're just bombing it in and it's getting cut off at the moment. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thrashes it. The ball in the hands of Phillips. Handballs. He's got the football now. Quick handball. He gains possession. St Kilda. Are happy about that one. He celebrates hard after that. They'll be looking to close the gap now. Still plenty of time. Blitzarves with a punch. Tui making his way onto the field. Ball up in the centre square. One down. Clean from the half volley. Geary quickly onto the boot. Doesn't hold onto the mark. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Important kick here, and it goes through. Steele celebrating hard. We're back in the middle to resume play. Won the hit out. Trying to avoid everything out there. Alex to kick it long. Lost concentration for a moment. Menegola won himself a free. He might kick a goal. Great grab. Jenkins should have no trouble from here. An opportunity for a third goal. He's excited about that one. The Cats with a handy break. They lead St Kilda. 103 to 33. Clears the contest. Hanabry releases the handball under pressure. Has it now. A poorly executed tackle there. Goes with the kick. Takes a simple grab. Stephen puts it on the boot. Mops up the loose ball. Sinclair sends the drop punt on its way for another goal. His teammates rush over. St Kilda now only trail by 64. We're back in motion. Tap down. The ball mopped up. Dangerfield goes by hand. Howard sends it into space. Ablett collects the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Rides out the tackle. Puts on a big hit. Menegola dug out the loose ball. Brown soccer's the kick. The ball bubbling around. Guthrie with the ball. Lucky to score with that shot. The lead is now 65. Geelong are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Duncan gets in the way. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He loved that one. Now they lead by 71. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Wins the ruck duel. Ablett did well not to fumble. Abbott just too high with the tackle. Channels a long kick. Phillips struggling to run at the moment. Opportunity for Marshall. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. St Kilda fighting hard but still with work to do. Geelong have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. 50 metres out. Sinclair tries his luck at goal. Hook the kick wide and a behind. Can't make the most of that chance. Consolation goals all they can hope for now. 
Players move as they look to provide an option. Henderson needs a chance to rest. Now with a low spearing kick. Couldn't complete the mark. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. Smiles all round. St Kilda produced the margin. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. St Kilda can't afford to be missing this many chances in front of goal. It might cost them the game. Duncan Campbell's fought hard to get a handball away. Takes possession. Marshall rushes with the kick. Didn't fumble. Butler must kick this goal. The kick comes close, but offline. St Kilda produced the margin. Geelong have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Nobody can hold on here. Carlock has missed, unable to take that chance. St Kilda behind by 61, weighing up the options now. A strong pack mark. The kick from Guthrie. Doing well to intercept that kick. Carlo elects to kick. Buse marks uncontested. Chose to kick it. Marshall over the top. Decides to kick. Spent that one before he earned it. This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. Ross with the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Ross will be the recipient of the free. Just a minor. They would have loved to get that one. Not the most exciting match, but the fans of the winning side will feel pretty good right about now. It's pretty simple. One team played for four quarters and the opposition just couldn't go with it. Final scores are 17, 8, 110 to 7, 8, 50. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. Thanks, Hutto. Until next time.